Hydrography is the science of measuring and mapping water bodies using specialized hydrographic equipment to create accurate charts and associated products for marina safety. India's rich heritage of sea explorers dates back to the 1st century with mention even in the Rig Veda about the goddess Tara. Even the present-day compass and sextant find mention in the ancient Indian literature as Matsyantra and Vritha Shangbhag being used by early seafarers for the precise sea navigation with astronomy. The birth of present-day hydrography in India took place with the establishment of the Marine Survey of India office on the 16th of June 1874 in Calcutta undertook extensive survey operations in the Indian Ocean Region IOR, covering the entire coastline including the Andaman Sea. The charts were prepared by hand initially at Pune, then at Kunur. The Indian Hydrographic Office shifted a few more times from 1882 to 1953 at Bombay, then at Birpur Dehradun before getting located at its present location at Rajpur Road Dehradun. The Indian National Hydrographic Department INHD, with its survey ships equipped with the latest surveying equipment is responsible for data collection. On-field data collection by a hydrographer entails working in challenging conditions in terms of sea, weather and terrain. Once collected, the data undergoes extensive quality checks at the National Hydrographic Office in Dehradun. Final products in the form of charts, electronic navigational charts and nautical products useful for marina safety at sea are produced from the collected and processed data. The Indian Navy aligning itself with the national policy of self-reliance and Vasudeva Kutumbakam continues to play a pivotal role in shaping India's self-reliance, fostering international cooperation and contributing to a harmonious global community. It also contributes towards a blue economy such as Project Sagar Mala through supporting the development of port infrastructure, connectivity and coastal economic zones. The Indian Navy has also actively participated and contributed to various international and national organizations of which it is a part. The Indian Navy's footprint goes beyond Indian shores. To date, about 96 foreign survey deployments have been made to various IOR nations, covering 89,000 square kilometers of the area, producing 38 paper charts and 41 electronic navigational charts ENCs, in addition to 333 paper charts and 349 ENCs in the area of charting responsibility. The Indian Navy has also signed memorandums of understanding and international agreements with nations of common interest. The annual revenue generation this year is about 71 crores with an estimated yearly growth of 6% from the sale of charts, nautical products and royalties. Other activities of the Indian Navy include rendering assistance as hospital ships, post-tsunami survey operations, facilitating the opening of ports, rescue missions and the landing of relief material both in India and foreign nations. Capacity building by undertaking training at NIH and equipment gifting to friendly foreign nations has also been undertaken by the Indian Navy with the continuous support of the government and the Ministry of Defence. Presently, the Indian Navy is in the process of inducting four new state-of-the-art advanced survey vessels being indigenously built at our own nation's shipyard under the government's vision of Make in India. Additionally, the department is in the process of going fully digital and developing 3D charts aligning with PM Modi's Digital India Initiative, a cloud-based system for data management and an analytical tool for the creation of diversified products meeting demand as per user requirements has been incorporated.
as we embrace new ships, 3D charts, advanced technologies and digital era without paper charts. Hydrography will continue to evolve, ensuring safer and more efficient navigation and opening up new frontiers of exploration in our vast aquatic ground. The future of hydrography is an exciting frontier filled with innovation, technological advancements and limitless possibilities.